Hi guys, in today's lesson I'll be showing you how to make a finger joint draw using TechSoft 2D Design. So you will need to use Gridlock, the Line Tool, Shape Tool, the Contour, which is 6 one down, third one across, and the Dimension Tool, the Delete Tool, so you press Delete, click on the second Delete, and you also have the Attach Tool, so you can attach a line to end point or midpoint. So this is the draw that we are making. As you can see the drawing, so the measurements are 181 by 104 and it has five parts. So the first step is, in this example I will change the layout to A2 so I have some space to create the draw. Move the drawings up. So step one is to create a rectangle uh, the size doesn't matter at this moment of time. Use a grid lock and click a re uh, create a rectangle. Then use a contour and put the dimensions in. 181 and the height of the draw is 45 millimeters. So double click, click on 45 and the, place the hand on the top line and then delete the lines that you don't require. The next step is that we make it we are making a six millimeter draw so you need to click on contour six millimeters and draw six millimeter six millimeters line on the edge and then split this draw into five finger joints so 45 divided by five equals nine and that's for part one drawn I'll just label this as part one So now we need to create the notch. So to make the notch, click off grid lock, click on the attach tool, ensure you select midpoint, click on the line tool, and you'll see that it attaches to the mid middle of the line. Click contour, we'll do 15 millimeters on one side, because the gap is 30 millimeters. And then we need we need to ensure that we do six millimeters. You can use the dimension tool to check the measurements. Click on end point, so click on the end of the line, We've got 30 millimeters. And then we use the contour tool, 6 millimeters, and then use the delete tool to delete the lines that we don't need. So that's part one complete. Copy and paste part one for the the front part part number two so I'll just label this as part two again using the attach tool click off grid lock double click on the attach tool to ensure that it's on in midpoint so you want to create a notch in the middle of the line use a circular tool if you click double click on the circle you can have a radius of 10 mil set the radius click on the middle use the delete tool delete the lines that you don't require and there you have part number two the draw front or in this case it's part of the draw to make part three again same steps it's 104 millimeters by 45 use a square tool or the shape tool click off grid lock on the grid draw a shape using the contour same steps again 104 click next to the line it will offset the line 104 millimeters by 45 double click click on 45 again delete the lines that you don't require and then we're going to use again contour this six millimeters from the edge the six millimeters plywood and then split this into five equal parts so that's nine millimeters this time we delete the opposite sides again click on the del tool delete the lines that you don't require and there you have part three just name this as part three
again to create the notch uh, select the middle of the line make this 30 mil um, 6 millimeters then 30 millimeter spacing so 15 mil on each side So that's part one, two, and three complete. Now to make part four, it's going to be 108 millimeters by 104. So we create a, a shape. Again, it doesn't matter what size the rectangle is. Just zoom out. Click on the shape tool. Grid lock. again contour double click 108 by 104 it's actually 181 by 104 this time midpoint so we need to draw a line from the center on both ends make this 15 millimeters again double click 6 mil all the way around again line tool select the middle of the line again another 15 mil from each side then we use the delete tool delete the lines and this time we need the finger the outside finger Delete the internal lines first. So you need to remember which lines that you're deleting. Best to delete these lines first and then the corners. So that's part four complete. Just rename this as part four properties. So you got part one, two, three, and four. That that's fine if you just want to draw front, but then you may want to create um, so you need two part threes. You may want to create a draw front, separate draw front. So I'll show you an example of that on the side. So this we'll call this part five. So this could be made out of acrylic. So in this example, we'll move this paper. Or oh, there's a line missing from part two. So just add that line in. Again, click on the attach tool. Make sure it's on end point. Click on the end of the line. It should create a line. Uh, we copy part two. Control C, or you can click on the two squares at the bottom. Move this, move this to the bottom, and we'll delete the lines that we don't need. So we'll delete the the finger joints and the notch. And then use the line tool, make sure it's endpoint selected, line, click on the end and join the lines up. I tend to delete these lines and redraw them again. And there you go guys, that's part five. And if you wanted to, you can check the dimensions using the dimension tool. That should be 181 by 45. Right, guys, a nice, simple, easy method of creating a finger joint using TechSoft 2D Design. Thanks for watching.